When you think of uncovering lost treasure, you probably think about chests long buried on tropical islands. But for one lucky buyer in California, finding this pirate's gold was a whole lot easier. An auction of unclaimed storage units led to half a million dollars worth of legendary loot. And it looks like there is some serious history in these coins. Dan and Laura Dotson are featured auctioneers and stars of A&E's Storage Wars. They are also owners of American Auctioneers. Here's, here's how it worked. It is your company that auctions off unclaimed storage units, right? Exactly. And, yes. and that's what you had here. You got your garden variety storage unit in Northern California. Somebody hasn't paid the bill for a long time. By law, you're allowed to auction off the contents. That's absolutely correct. We do it every day. And what did uh, this lucky buyer pay? This lucky buyer bought two units, one for $600 and one for $1,100. They belong to the same folks. I understand that um, the folks that owned it, um, the person had died. And <clears throat> so this lucky buyer shows up at one of our sales and he pays $600 for one unit, yeah. $1,100 for the other unit, <clears throat> and he gets himself a great big blue Rubbermaid tote full of uh, coin. A Rubbermaid treasure hunt. A rubber Gold made... to blooms and pieces of eight. I mean, can you imagine that? I heard it <laughs> took three people to carry it out. Of there it had so much silver and gold in it and that's the truth absolutely the uh, facility even can vouch for that they said what in the world is going on here it took three people to move that tote to the back end of your pickup I and was, then the story unfolds I was kind of hoping for a, a, a pirate's treasure chest though a Rubbermaid blue tote doesn't sound yeah quite you know <laughs> Evocative. You know, we had a, we had another story that had happened uh, <clears throat> about six months ago, and there was actually a uh, there was a pirates type chess in there that was like a movie prop, and it actually yeah. had cash in it. It had uh, twelve hundred nice. twenty dollar bills with the faces cut out of every one of them. It was twenty four thousand dollars, and I think that when the story broke, I think those two stories got crossed. They were really close together, but uh, this okay. one was in a uh, a two hundred year old booty inside of a modern day trunk, a plastic Rubbermaid tote. Yeah, so, these these were you know, pieces of eight. I mean, the, the pirates did, I don't, I don't know that this is pirate yes. gold, but the pirates did carry that stuff around. Those are Spanish coins, right? Uh, yes, they did. You know, between the 16th and the 19th century, this was something that was used through world trade and the mariners, and they call it the pirate booty, I think, because a lot of it was found with sunken treasure and in all the different ports around the world. Uh, it's very interesting about how the uh, pieces of eight works. That is, I think, now how we have coins. You know, the right. pieces the, of eight were the yes. original silver type dollars, and they yes. were actually cut into eight sections. Yes, and that's why two bits are a quarter or, or a quarter of a dollar. And I guess it would take yeah. how many? Uh, Sixteen uh, pieces of eight to equal to one me. gold the bloom. That's Cause, what cause, I understand. Because yeah. you could break up the coin into into pieces if you wanted to. You know pay a small uh, bill. Uh, curious, exactly. Curious that the pirates had the uh, the Rubbermaid Tupperware. Uh, <laughs> that's probably not the original. Yeah, I think that would be modern day pirates <laughs> yeah. with, but, the, with the Tupperware <laughs> booty trunks. But you bring, never know. Bring it back to where, where this all started. Some lucky buyer, there's the there's the blue Rubbermaid tub. Some lucky buyer paid a thousand bucks for the contents of this storage locker and winds up with yes. half a million dollars of gold and silver historic coins. You know, it's not the first time this kind of stuff happens. I mean, there's a lot of units out there that, that sell that folks maybe just make a little bit of money on or they lose money on or, or they make quite a bit of money on. But as far as life-changing stories, there's mm -hmm. been two or three of them just this year. And yeah. over the last five or seven years, there's been a lot of stories. Uh, we've been involved in a lot of deals. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and usually you don't hear about these, you know, big treasure finds because people don't want to let, don't want to let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> and I think because, you know, Danny and I being on Storage Wars, absolutely this buy was so excited to tell us, guess what? I found a treasure. It didn't make the show, but it does happen. And he was a newbie, so I think that all of our longtime buyers are pretty upset. They just didn't well, go head-to-head -head and bid against him. A it, few months ago, I, Nicholas I Cage's uh, Superman comic book came out of a storage unit. That was one of our sales. Nice. Yeah. Alberto Vargas uh, Dan and Laura had Dotson. a lot of artwork and a lot of his stuff. we got to say goodbye. It, it wasn't my storage locker. I guess, I guess that's <laughs> the good news here. Dan and Laura, thanks very much. Pay your rent. <laughs> yeah, pay the lady. That's a good yeah, way pay your bill and don't forget, you know, Storage Wars, we have a new episode coming out tomorrow night, so hopefully you guys can get your treasure fill All right. tomorrow night, 10 nights central on A&E. Sounds good. Thanks. Good plug on yeah. that. And we'll thanks for end it right us. there. Pay your rent, watch Storage Wars, and we'll be right back. <laughs>